CataractCoach.com B versus C versus D cartridge. Which one's right for your IOL? That's something you have to know. Here are the three cartridges, and you have them all held here in one hand, and you can see they all look very similar. B, C, and D, but there are some crucial differences between these. You can see just by looking at the picture, the B cartridge has a picture of a three-piece lens on it, whereas the C and D cartridge have a picture of a single-piece acrylic lens on it. Now, these are all made by Alcon, and they're designed for their lenses, but I'll tell you a secret. You can put any three-piece acrylic lens through that B cartridge, and you can put any single-piece acrylic lens through that C cartridge. The D cartridge is much tinier. Look at the tips. As I line them up here, you can see the tips of these are very different. The B is a lot bigger, and the C cartridge is more compact, and the D is diminutive. And that's my mnemonic for remembering these. Again, looking at those three tips, you see there is quite a difference in size. And that also means they require different incision sizes for use in surgery. You're not going to be able to get that B cartridge tip, which is very big, inside a tiny 2.2 millimeter incision. In fact, if you look here, we can even put the D cartridge, it's so small, it can go inside the B cartridge and even inside the C cartridge. Now, the tips of these are made of a very special plastic that does give. So again, D is diminutive, meaning very small, 2.2 millimeter incision. C is compact, a 2.4 millimeter incision. And B is big, it's gonna require about a three millimeter incision. Now these are the minimum incision sizes and oftentimes we'll use the C cartridge or even D cartridge is a little bit larger incision of 2.4, 2.5, and 2.8. And you see the very tips here, again, they're very deformable. And the idea behind this is you won't damage the lens. So the D cartridge is great for a thin single piece IOL plus 6 to plus 26. And then remember, the non-aspheric IOLs are thicker, so you prefer the aspheric lens. The C cartridge is for 2.4. That means all single-piece IOLs, plus 6 to plus 34, and even some three-piece lenses using a special method. The B cartridge is big. That's for all three-piece IOLs and the special order single-piece ones. You can order the special single-piece ones up to plus 40 diopters. And you can imagine that's quite thick. So here's the process. There's a C cartridge. IOLs going inside it. Leading haptic's been folded over. There's the trailing haptic. And we'll advance this down the plunger. And as we advance this, you'll notice that trailing haptic opens up. Uh-oh, what should we do? Well, we can still insert it. Let me show you. So go back to the eye here. You notice that we have pretty good draping, all the lashes out of the way, and we're ready to insert our IOL. Fixate the eye. Let's get the tip in here. Now, this is a C cartridge through a 2.75 millimeter incision, so it fits very easily. We deliver it inside the eye. There's that trailing haptic, and we'll simply use a second instrument or a chopper, and we can position that trailing haptic in the bag as well. We'll let that open up, and everything looks great. So keep these things in mind, B cartridge versus C cartridge versus D cartridge. When do you use each one? Which lens is appropriate? What incision sizes are there? Check out our teaching website, cataractcoach.com. It's free. You can even sign up for a free daily email, and we'll send you our case of the day every day right to your inbox. And submit your video. If you've got an interesting case or a great idea or even a complication, send it over, and we'll all learn together. Thanks.